All right, guys, welcome to the video. Feels good to be back in about 24 hours from right now. I hop on a plane to fly to London to then get on a shuttle bus to then go to another airport, then to go to Ibiza, Ibiza, potato, potato. Today, I want to start the video off kind of old school, old school maxi poo in the house, and we're going to walk you through our push workout. Is it going to be a 315 bench? Nope. Starting off with the incline. Incline is always going to be obviously harder than a flat bench. And if you're doing dumbbell for the day like I am, it's better to start off with this movement rather than the flat because you don't want to tie yourself out for the harder movements. Working with 80 pounds today because I'm dieting and I'm just super weak. Go for about 12 reps. All the way down, I like to turn my arms in a little bit. Off the camera. I was like that guy. Have you ever seen the interview with uh, D'Angelo Russell? D'Angelo Russell? Yeah, he's like, you see your practice and then like, one of like the commentators interview with you. More like those NBA ones where it's like... This is more uh, Russell Westbrook. 12 reps, we'll do about 4 sets of this. Alright, next movement is going to be a decline press with any push day, I always like to start out with two to three pressing movements before I'm going to like isolation. For the decline hammer, I like to go a little bit wider. It's gonna make sure you get that there width in your chest. Guys, back in the day, I used to always think like, oh, you gotta do chest flies for width, and then you do decline for your lower chest. I don't really overthink like that. I just try to hit the movements at all different angles. I'm not like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna target my, my lower chest now. It's like, I'm just pressing in different angles. That's, that's how I think about it. But, a little wide, sets of 12 again. Big breath. Whew. Nice squeeze. Now with the pressings, uh, I, I generally do like the same rep and set scheme, like four sets of 12. Uh, back in the day, I'd always like change it up, like, okay, you know, this one I'm gonna do three sets of eight, but then this one I'm gonna do four sets of 12, and then I'm gonna do five sets of seven. Like, I just, it, it doesn't matter if like, your workouts are kind of repetitive, as long as you're enjoying them, and you're changing the movements up, but like rep schemes, especially for pressing for your first initial ones, get that volume in. Four sets of like 10 to 12 is great. If you can go above 12, you're getting that 15 range. Try increasing the weight a little bit. All right, so I have two push days during the week. One is a chest focus day, and one is a shoulder focus day. Today being the chest, we also incorporate a one accessory movement for the shoulders, and then on my main shoulder day, where I'm doing mainly like overhead presses for volume, I'll incorporate one movement for the chest. So it just gets more volume in throughout the week. So today we're doing lateral raises mixed in with our pushing movements and as well as supersetting that with some tricep extensions. Next up, a little more isolation work. We're going to do an incline fly. Now with this, I used to go super, super heavy with like 60 pounds and that puts a whole lot of stress on your shoulders. And I'm sure some people out there are like, Max, you little girl, dude, only 30s, man. Well, you know what? This way I'm not tearing my shoulders apart. I can keep a nice stretch. You'll notice I'm keeping a little bend in my elbows. I'm not like fully locking out. You just want to go down slow until you feel that stretch. I mean, you can go a little bit lower, but I just go until I feel that deep stretch. You go like this. And then the more flies you do, the bigger your boobies will become. All right, finishing out the workout with a flat dumbbell press and an overhead tricep extension. So overall, we did seven total exercises, three chest press variations, a shoulder and a chest accessory, and then two tricep isolation movements. Really good workout, really good pump. Hope you guys enjoyed this little workout segment of the video, and let's get out of here. Good morning, guys. It is currently 8.30. I got terrible sleep, couldn't fall asleep to like three. But we have a very busy day today, so we need to get up and hold on a second. Like I said, we have a lot to do today, so we need to get up because we leave for Ibiza in about 
12 hours. Right, so for breakfast, we are making ourselves a smoothie. I don't have any Greek yogurt, which is annoying because it adds a delicious consistency to the smoothie, but we're traveling, so we can't go buy that right now. Um, we have some mangoes, pineapple, strawberry, and piaches right in there. We have a scoop of each of these, blueberry toaster pastry and fruity cereal milk, really good additions to the smoothie. Link in the description if you guys ever wanna check this out. And of course, we have spinach for health. And now I made some waffles, and I would say that I like waffles more than pancakes, but last time I expressed my opinion on specific food groups, a lot of you took that to heart and disliked my videos, so I won't ever talk about what foods that I like specifically more than another ever again. So I'm gonna finish all of this food and go ahead and start my day. What's crazy to think is that we actually are done dieting. The diet is over. We're coming to an end. Now I can have all the frozen margaritas I want and sour candy that I've missed so much. We finished at about 162 pounds. Very happy with how the physique turned out. Last year, I think I actually got a little bit leaner because I dieted up until about mid-June when, when I went to visit Dublin. Uh, we finished at about 160 and a half. But you know what, I don't care, dude. Your boy Maxi the potato is pretty much a shredded hash brown. So I came all the way to Nordstrom to find a four-wheel hard shell suitcase before I travel today. And guess what? They don't have any hard shell four wheels. They only have these two meets, which I have essentially the exact same one in a two-wheel, but I don't want the soft shell anymore. My two me, like the zippers keep breaking off, and I thought two me was like a nice brand, but apparently it's a piece of shit. All right, so that was a fail. Now I'm back at the warehouse. I'm gonna get in a quick workout because I'll be traveling essentially all day tomorrow. Guys, I get to uh, one airport and then that's not the one that I leave at. So I fly into London, but then I need to fly out of Luton to go to Ibiza. So I have to get to one airport, get on a shuttle and everything, and hopefully my potato ass doesn't get lost. Go to the other airport, which is like an hour and a half away, get on that plane later in the night, and then I fly to Ibiza. So since we can't lift, we need to do it now. Ah! Pretty solid workout. Okay, let's go. Next up on my task list for today is something that much like getting into a relationship, I wouldn't advise most of you to do. But if I don't do the thing that I'm about to do, then when I go on these tropical vacations with all the sun, I turn from a shredded potato into a burnt potato. We are getting a little bit more of a base coat before we go and get under the hot Ibiza sun. So I'm gonna lube up, strip down, and I'll see you after. All done, am I bronzed and beautiful? No, but seriously, I would highly recommend that none of you go to the tanning bed. I only go a couple times a year, and even that is too much in my opinion. But you know what you can't go do enough in a year? Chipotle! <laughs> All right, so for lunch, we got a chipotle bowl, tortilla on the side, a diet ginger ale, which is caffeine-free if you didn't know, and then a Powerade Zero. Gonna work on editing this video. I use Adobe Premiere, the entire creative cloud, by the way, for those who are asking. And also, I found this sick YouTube channel. Maybe you guys should go check out the videos that you haven't watched, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna tell you that hopefully I've been a prime example of someone that like shows you that dieting does not have to be hard. Like, I was eating Chipotle every single day while I was dieting. I was getting tortillas on the side. It's less about limiting the foods that you enjoy while you diet, and it's more about limiting the quantities of food. Calories in versus calories out. You wanna eat Chipotle every day and get shredded? You can do it, dude!
first time I actually rode this bike with a purpose into the city. And let me tell you, it's super easy. You wanna know how easy? I'm actually 30 minutes early to my haircut. And this is like one of the final tasks for the day before I start packing. Because guys, remember, if you wanna look good on the beach, you have to, what's up, dude? I watch your vlogs. Oh, thanks, man. That's wild. Hey, thanks, buddy. To look good on the beach, you must get get a haircut. And boom, fresh haircut. I didn't get it styled or anything because I have to head home and shower. Nah, it's over, dude. They're so good. Why don't they hit your lips? All right, so I need to wrap this video up and get home and finish editing this before I start packing. But we have one more task to do on my list today before we leave. And it's a really important one, and I'll chat about it when we get back home. So our final task before we start packing is to make our first contribution this year to the ALS Association charity. And as you guys know, ALS holds a dear place in my heart because of my dad, and I want to thank you guys so much for the support with the apparel brand. And this first donation is a, a big step towards just each year doing better and better. And last year, together, because of y'all's crazy support, we ended up donating $19,000 to charity, which is so awesome, and I think we're going to crush that number this year. So I want to thank you guys a lot from the bottom of my heart. And uh, periodically on my channel, I like to kind of touch back on the message of Everford because a lot of people are new to the channel, they see the clothing brand, and they don't really know like why I chose the, those words, that phrase. And I want to end this video with the Everford video that Kelvin and I made um, a couple months ago, and many of you may have not seen it. It's about four minutes. It is probably the most special video that has ever uh, been on my channel, and I want you guys to see it if you haven't. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in Spain, my friends, and ever forward. My dad passed away when I was 15 years old. He had Lou Gehrig's disease, otherwise known as ALS, and there is no cure. At the time, it was almost hard to grasp that I was losing him at such a young age. It's a part of my memory that I sometimes block out. Um, seeing him just deteriorate in front of myself and my family was terrible. The disease consumed him, and he lost his ability to walk, talk, and eventually it took his life. Even when he was sick, I never once heard my dad say, why me? Why did I do deserve this? Or that this isn't fair? He didn't want anyone to feel bad for him. And he wanted no one to pity him. The thing about my dad was that he was such a truly great person. He was a kind individual with a heart filled with love. Anyone who came in contact with him would just instantly feel life around them that was brought by him. He, it was almost like his mission was to better other people's lives and better other people's days. My dad loved making other people happy. And it was very apparent. And even when he got sick, and as the disease took over him, 
you could still see it in his eyes that he was the same loving person trapped in his own body. Ah! My dad lived his life by the phrase, ever for. It means to always do more, to always be more, to strive to be great, to inspire others, to motivate others in anything in your life. This message has changed everything. It has made me open my eyes and realize that at any given day, our days could be numbered. This phrase has been a positive message that has been in my family for a long time. It is always in the back of my head when I have thoughts of failure or defeat. I miss my father every single day, and every single day the actions that I do are actions that I hope would make him proud, that I can live up to be the man that he was. I will always strive to be a good person, to do the right thing, to spread my father's message and to inspire others to achieve more. My name is Max Tuning and I live ever forward.